Hello folks, welcome to another video and thanks for joining me. Today I'm in York. I'm visiting the new uh, rapid charge hub and park and ride destination charging service that the York City Council have set up in the Vanguard Shopping Centre. So um, I've just parked myself into one of their regular uh, 50 kilowatt charging bays and uh, see if I can charge this one by myself. As you can see, regular parking bay, not a disabled bay, just a normal charging bay, plenty of width, no problem at all. And as I've been saying all along, this is really how all charge bays should be. So let's have a go. Well, as you can see, I can get close to the machine. It looks pretty simple. Here's the uh, screen, which I can see. Um, obviously, this is our RF, RFID card reader, and we've got CCS and CHAD mode. So, just read the instructions. Uh, welcome. So, That's not too bad. What I will do is just put the cable over that. Uh, That was easy enough. Um, the cable, surprisingly, is not too heavy. Um, it plugged in really well, so yeah, very easy. You can see the cable is on the floor, so I could either go under it, but it's easy enough here. You see no curbs, no bump stops, so even though that's awkward, it doesn't stop me from doing what I need to do. You select CCS and then press start. The unit's just talking to the vehicle. Well, that was simple enough. The car's charging and um, I've got to say I'm very impressed. Access is very, very good. Um, even with the cable, as you can see, no curbs, no bump stops. I was able to come around the machine. I can still access my car to get my wheelchair or my bags in and out. Access around this facility is excellent. I can get to any of the charge bays without crossing a curb or without confronting a bump stop 
and it's the same for every car. You know, it's not designated spaces. Monk's Cross Hyperhub opened on the 15th of June and for a brief period it's vending free electricity after which it will be 25 pence per kilowatt hour. Stuart Andrews is the transport project manager and um, he invited me to come and have a look around, give me the tour and um, also uh, I met with uh, Andrew Ledbetter He's the uh, transport project manager for EV and the Evo Energy consultant, John Roper, who's the principal uh, renewable energy consultant. And I also met with uh, Carrie Brook, who's the program management officer for the York City Council. York City Council have invested £2.2 .2 million to develop two hyper hub sites high quality, high speed EV charging hubs, one here at Monk's Cross Park and Ride and the other at Popton Bar Park and Ride. The investment was made up of a grant of one million pounds from the European Regional Development Fund, 800,000 pounds from the Office for Low Emission Vehicles, OLEV, and York City investing £400,000. Each site has four ultra-rapid electric vehicle chargers and four rapid chargers, each with solar canopy arrays that have dedicated battery storage in order to support the energy grid during peak hours. On a hot summer's day like today, even though busy, they're still able to provide 90% of the power from solar. This infrastructure has been designed to be adaptable. Obviously with future technology changes, they can adapt as required. This is a modular system that can be expanded and extended. York City Council has been a pioneer in the use of innovative green technology and the council has led the way in providing public charging facilities for electric vehicles. York was one of the first cities to introduce a public electric charge network several years ago. In 2014, there were 1,510 charging sessions. By 2018, that had increased to 13,695. And obviously that's a figure that's now increasing exponentially every month. In addition to the Hyperhub facilities, there are also 30 uh, fast chargers at the park and ride just across the street at the Vanguard shopping centre. So shoppers and uh, commuters can leave their car here for several hours while they go to work or while they go shopping and they can uh, walk across the car park to the park and ride bus terminal. It's an excellent service. Even the buses are electric and uh, have their own electric chargers here on site. The buses are accessible of course, so if you are a wheelchair user or disabled somehow, no problem. The bus terminal is excellent and provides shelter from the weather and has excellent disabled toilet facilities. I learnt more in a couple of hours with these three gentlemen than I knew previously. Um, they're a fantastic team of very knowledgeable, capable, skilled guys that have brought this project together very quickly and very successfully. And I had a wonderful time and you know, really appreciate them taking their time to show me around and explain to me how it worked.
Well, we had a nice coffee in Costa and uh, arrived back at the car and it's fully charged 100%. Simple enough to unplug the car and this 50 kilowatt cable isn't too heavy and returning it back into the holster was simple. was easy. The ultra rapid chargers are also very accessible, the screen's even lower, so that one looks like it would be pretty easy to use. Um, if you've got a car that can take a high speed charge then this really is a great facility for you. So I really enjoyed coming out here to Runks Cross today, meeting the guys from York City Council and um, yeah, a fantastic result and uh, it just proves that it can be done. If you've enjoyed this video, then uh, please do subscribe, like, share, comment and um, support me as we campaign to try and get more EV charge stations made accessible. You can join our Facebook group, I'll leave the links in the description. York have done a fantastic job in creating a greener and cleaner city. With infrastructure like the park and ride, the electric buses, these hyper hubs can only be encouraging more people to confidently move over into EV vehicles. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. It really helps me if you can give me a like and share and please subscribe and ring that bell icon so you're notified each time I post a new video. See you in the next one. Bye.